Yeah, we heard you talk about your uncle. I damn me. And your grandparents after they got uh 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 inducted in the Hall of Fame of the system. Yeah, I'm gonna let y'all soak in there for a minute. Uh I know they caught you putting granddad in the trash bag. Huh, bars. I know it. You don't know nothing about that. Is you follow me on these balls, man, man? Come on, man. Man, quit playing with me, too. Yeah, well, he, he Say, quit playing with me. Trash, I know they caught you putting granddad in the trash bag. It's, it's part of the system. Start with continuing coverage after two people are found dead inside a burned home. We have learned that the two are the grandparents of a local well known rapper. WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleisman is live in the Happy Hills neighborhood tonight to tell us the very latest information. Peter, Mobile Police, Fire, and ATF agents were all out here for the majority of the day investigating, trying to piece together what happened. No word from police about what happened or why the fire started or how it started. And also, Mobile Police are confirming that they are investigating this as a homicide. Now, we did speak with the family of the two people killed. They identified them as Leela and Tony Lewis. We've also learned that, again, they were the grandparents of local rapper Honeycomb Brazy. He posted to Instagram a tribute to the two saying he hates they caught got caught up in his business. The family says the two were the head of their family and took care of everyone. Now witnesses tell us that they heard a boom and what sounded like shots around the time of the fire. This all happened around 630 last night on Dr. Thomas Avenue. The home is destroyed and that fire was so large it damaged the home next door. We spoke to the people that live there and they say that they heard gunshots as well. Now the family of the Lewises tell us that the neighbor saw a car pull up and shoot into their home and then the house went up into flames and now they just want justice. They took everything. My mom and my dad. The head. They was the head and the tail, the roots. They took everything from us. Everything. We, we would never be the same. It's how they died. It's how they died. It's wrong. They ain't deserve it. And now the family is begging anyone with any sort of information to contact Mobile Police. Reporting live in North Mobile, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5. <laughs> it's part, it goes along with the system. So you can do things like that and talk about them, but you got to confess your sins. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in a system, you got to give a life or take a, give a life. When I mean give a life, you got to give something you love dearly. <clears throat> Ask Jordan. All right, Pete, Daddy. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Roz Abram. And I'm Diana Williams. In tonight for Greg Hurst, here's what's happening. One of America's most popular athletes is suffering a terrible loss tonight. The body of Michael Jordan's father has been found, and police say he was murdered. The FBI is now investigating this mysterious death. Michael Jordan arrived in Charlotte this afternoon, cutting short his vacation in California. James Jordan's body was discovered in a river in South Carolina with a gunshot wound to the chest. Bennettsville, South Carolina, has been positively identified as the body of Mr. James Jordan. Authorities announced today that James Jordan's body was found in a creek between North and South Carolina. The body had been unidentified for a week and a half until police found Jordan's car. The windows bashed, tires and stereo missing, the vanity plates gone. Finally, late last night, police put the pieces together. We processed the car last night, the latent prints also for lubing all the cars, see if there's any presence of blood. Those tests were negative. Using dental records, North and South Carolina authorities made the connection between the car and James Jordan. Jordan had suffered a single gunshot wound to the chest. Probable cause to indicate that uh, Mr. Jordan was, uh, was uh, abducted and transported uh, across uh, state lines and we're investigating this on the uh, premise that uh, that uh, a kidnapping had occurred James Jordan was Michael Jordan's biggest fan and trusted confidant he had been missing for three weeks but business trips often took him away so his family didn't worry Michael is on vacation in California his security staff is already in North Carolina to help in the investigation 
In Chicago, teammates mourned the elder Jordan. Just a great person to be around, and it was, you know, always had, you know, something to say that was very funny, and he always made us laugh, and uh, he's just a great individual. Everyone just cared for him so much. Uh, he was like part of the one of the, he's just one of the guys. I mean, through all of Michael Jordan's successes on the court and in his promotions, and through the tough times of gambling accusations this season, what friends remember is that James Jordan was always there for his son. And as we told you a moment ago, Michael Jordan is now in North Carolina. The FBI has contacted the Jordan family, but so far there has been no public word from Michael Jordan or any other family member. You dig what I'm saying? You, you can't live in the system if you don't give to the system. It's, uh, ask Jennifer. Hudson. I repeat, family. A horrifying shock for Oscar-winning actress Jennifer Hudson. Police in Chicago are investigating the deaths of both her mother and brother. The two were found shot to death Friday afternoon. The first victim was a female found in the living room, living room floor with a fatal gunshot wound. The second victim was a male subject found in the bedroom with a fatal gunshot wound. Investigators say the deaths appear to be the result of domestic abuse, but they aren't elaborating. We're looking for a 1994 white suburban vehicle that's missing from the location, as well as a seven-year-old male African-American child. The child, police say, is the grandson of Hudson's mother. They issued the Amber Alert in the name of seven-year-old Julian King. The alert says the child was possibly abducted and accompanied by a man considered armed and dangerous. We have some promising leads right now, but it's very preliminary right now. According to public records, Jennifer Hudson and her mother owned the house where the bodies were discovered. Hudson grew up in Chicago. She was a finalist on the Fox series American Idol. She went on to star in and win an Oscar for the movie musical Dream Girls and more recently had a role in the Sex and the City movie. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press. You got to give something that you love dearly to the system. Uh, I heard that, um, I didn't hear this, but um, a, a real disturbing, um, um, what can I say, um, I don't want to sound harsh, uh, sacrifice to the system was the other week that was disturbing. I heard that, um, was a young thug, thug, what's the nigga that's on trial? Whatever the oh, the name. YSL trial. Okay, okay. They, what's the, uh, what's the other the nigga name? Young what? Thug and Gunner. Okay, one of the young thug artists, uh, killed, you know, the little three-year-old girl in the back seat. Oh, the baby. Oh, the, is that what? I mean, not the yeah, baby, yeah, little baby. The, little baby artist. Yeah, he's got his phone and a big stack of cash in his pocket. Yeah. There's no yeah. weapons on him. Can you give a, Can you get that to my girlfriend, please? Uh, as soon as, as soon as we get a chance, all right? I'll get the, the money out of your pocket myself. You got no weapons on him, right? Nah. Uh, ID. Chef. Chef. I love you, bro. Right, I'll walk you. Come on. Hey, follow this officer right here. Yeah. Come on, come on. I love you for real, bro. Can I get my girlfriend a kiss out, please? Yeah. You'll, you'll get in a second. Come on, buddy. You'll get in a second. Please. You'll get in a second, my brother. You'll get in a second. Two, one, two, one, ready? Why am I in on the wrist, officer? Six, seven. What you like to six, seven? Even the kids are being sacrificed now for fortune and fame. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up.